FIFA 15. We are going down memory lane today, guys. It is almost 10 years ago this came out. Wait, hang on. So FIFA 15 would have come out in September, October 2014, correct? So, oh my God, it's actually crazy to me. There is only one thing on my mind right now, and that is what was career mode like back then? Obviously, I remember it. I remember FIFA 12, 13, 14. I've done so many career modes over the last decade and a half. And FIFA 15 isn't my favorite of all time. I'd probably say FIFA 13 and... Ooh, oh, it's so difficult. I think FIFA 20 was quite a good one for me, career mode wise. But we've got to get into career mode now and see what it was 10 years ago. And we'll compare it. Uh, and no, I'm not doing like a full career mode. I'm just kind of doing a one-off video because my QPR career mode isn't ready yet for season four. That'll be starting on Monday. Um, we're going to have to go with the latest squads that I've got installed. All right. Already, it does feel so dated. It feels so different. Uh, let's go put Mr. MGH. There we go. The fact that their servers aren't even on anymore says a lot, doesn't it? And look at the, the picture they've used there. It's just awful, isn't it? And here we are in the main hub of career mode. I do like this. And I really like the way the pitch looks there as well. It's, it's definitely old school, isn't it? And I've got to say, I do like the more kind of static backgrounds. I don't like menus that are moving and flashing and... This is just simple. There's a little bit of light flickering and moving around in the background, and that's that's all you need. And look at the background of Meza Urzel there in the top left corner, that kind of glistening. And it's it's just it's just nice, isn't it? So obviously there will be a lot of Arsenal fans watching this, but also a lot of non-Arsenal fans watching this. But this um this era was stressful. It was a very stressful time being an Arsenal fan. We had so many great players, but we just didn't really do enough with them. Uh, I'd probably go with the 4-2-3-1. Let's see if we can build out a really, really good squad here. Cochrane's only 72 rated here. Oh, my God. And look, you put players out of position and it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. Their rating won't go down or up. We still had Gabrielle then as well. A different Gabrielle. And we'd put probably Giroud up top instead of Welbeck. I'm just going to adjust the team a little bit. I will be playing a game, so we're going to see exactly what it was like back then. And I'm just going to drag Ramsey and Kazula up a little bit because then you can actually see who we've got in the team. I remember doing this. It's funny how it's kind of muscle memory. I think that's probably the best team, isn't it? We've got Theo Walcott there. Um, I'd argue that Gabrielle's just lightning quick compared to Mertesacker, so you'd probably put him in, even though Gabriel wasn't that fast. Um, oh my God, Zalalem. See, a few of these players did eventually make it big time. I wouldn't say big time for Plegzuelo, but he's, he is playing regularly. Uh, he's, he's in the championship, right? Martinez, of course, World Cup winner, now plays for Aston Villa. Bielic is playing, I think, in the championship as well. Birmingham, maybe? Uh, Gnabry went on to do amazing things after a few loans and some not so great times. I remember him at West Brom. What's happened to Chambers? He was at the club for so long. He went to Villa and hasn't really played, has he? Oh, DRB. What a player this guy would have been. So, so good. So injury prone. And there is the current boss, Mikel Arteta. And there's Jack Wilshere as well. What promise he had. This was it. This was his moment in his career where the injury started to really creep in here. Is he injury prone? Yeah, injury prone. So this was about it. This was Wilshire at his absolute prime. I reckon he went up to maybe an 82 or an 83. I remember a couple of performances he had for England. Rosicki as well. Incredible. Oh, and Chesney's probably got a going goal, right? Do you know what? It really isn't a bad team. I'm going to go ahead and make a signing. Um, centre-back FIFA 15 era. Oh, I remember Sula. Sula was really good. I guess it doesn't really matter who. I'm just going to look for centre-backs. Should we go to the Premier League? Look at all the old logos. The Barclays Premier League. 
This is such a throwback. So we've got some really, really old school players here. Look at that. Emery Chan was a centre back. He kind of moved forward throughout his career. And now actually he sometimes drops back into defence, doesn't he? Gary Cahill's there as well. Look at that. A young Andreas Christensen. He's now playing for Barcelona, of course. Colaccini. Legend. Absolute legend. Eric Dyer's there as well. I love this. This is great. Just going back and having a look at what was that era. This is, you know, before Leicester blew up. Phil Jones. Oh, my God. Vincent Company. I don't even know how much money I've got. I don't know if I'd be able to afford anyone decent, but oh, my God. Absolute monster of a defender. There were some really good players back then. Okay, who am I signing? Should we just go with like a John Stones? Showing great potential. So here you can scout, add to shortlist, and then inquire. <laughs> and they'll just come back with a price. Oh my God, John Terry was still playing then as well. Colo Torre. This really is a throwback. Kurt Zuma as well. I remember back then he was the next big thing, wasn't he? And then uh, he ended up kicking cats. Um, striker as well. Oh, do you know what? I know straight away. Ben Zemmer. Ben Zemmer. Oh, yes, please. How much money do I have? This is, um, this is going to be a lot of money, I think. So, oh my God, where do you go? <gasps> Request funds. Yes. I remember this. Look, guys, I will win the cup and I'll win the league title. Give me an extra 10 mil. <laughs> Who remembers this? This is it's just incredible. Submit request. All right. They're definitely not going to do that. Transfers, finances. Oh, my God. We've got about 30 million. That definitely isn't going to be enough. But um, let's see what happens. So we'll use... Oh, hang on. 50... <sighs> wow. Okay. So they're not going to give me more money. Okay. Let's just get rid of this. Benzema is going to be way, way, way too expensive. Let's throw in um, <laughs> a lot of these players aren't worth much. I'm quite tempted to throw in Jack Wilshere just because he's worth probably more than most of my players, and I'm not going. I'm not really going to use him. Um, oh, we just don't have the money. It's, it's literally as as simple as that. We don't have the money. I'll give them what I've got. 30. We t I can't even afford that. We take 27 and a half. <laughs> Submit offer. All right, we're going to have to try a different striker, that's for sure. Everton have come back and they are requesting 7 million for John Stones. Try five. We'll give you 5 million. I have no idea how good he is, what his rating is, what his potential is. I just know he's, he's obviously very good. Um... 40. They're willing to do 40 for Benzema. And we've got a transfer offer for Theo Walcott. Oh, yes. See, now we're talking. 17 and a half. And then I can afford Benzema, maybe. <laughs> maybe I could include Theo Walcott in a Benzema deal. It's funny, isn't it? In hindsight, you know, these players that we were trusting back then, if only we knew that they would end up being rubbish, you know? So Everton have accepted 5 million. That was easy. He wants 40. All right, we'll go 35. We'll give him a 10% clean sheet bonus. Four-year deal. Do not specify the squad role. Okay, let's do that. It's definitely a lot more simple, isn't it? I know now we go into the cut scene and there's a few more options here and there. But I'm not saying either one is better. This is It's just refreshing, isn't it, that it's so quick. It's easy. It's so quick. But I don't know if I'd want... This. I think I do prefer the cutscene thing in general. All right, Thea Walcott, they're willing to go to 14.5. Uh, 15.5. I'm testing the limits here. Are they going to go up by one more million? And there it is. John Stones has accepted the contract. So that leaves us with just under £25 million. The thing is, John Stones isn't actually going to be that high rated, is he? But, um,. Let's see what happens. Let's get him into the team now. I'm guessing he's like 74. 75. I wasn't far off, but 
he's just a, a lot better and easier to use, isn't he? He's got a bit more pace about him. So welcome to the team. Save that. So wait, I couldn't. Wait, where is it? That, that one. I can't. I can't do anything. So do I have to go back into my office? Inbox. No, can't do that. Hang on. Wait. Sorry, I need to get my bearings here. Um... <laughs> Transfer negotiations. Is that it? Yeah. No. Is it? Is it just going through? Do I have to accept that? <gasps> Jack Grealish when he was at Aston Villa. Look, he looks like a little baby. Oh, it's so funny, isn't it? And then in my shortlist, we've still got Benzema there. Okay, let's just advance here. I'm sure it'll give me a warning, won't it? Talks have broken down. He's unwilling to relocate. An offer for Giroud is coming instead. I mean, if we're getting Benzema, I, I, I think we can live without Giroud. We'll go 11. It's on the high end, and Swansea probably won't pay that, but... Do you know what? I've got very fond memories of Giroud, but I've also got some absolutely horrific memories. Monaco. Arsenal fans, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> All right, let's put Theo Walcott in this deal here. And then go to 24 and a half. Mm, it's completely maxing my budget out. Let's go 22 and a half plus Walcott. I reckon that might work, you know, but if not, we'll go with someone a little bit lower rated. And it's a no. We are not going to be getting Benzema. I've already got an idea of who I'm going to get instead. We'll just let Swansea have Giroud because I am bringing in the mighty Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. 25 years old, right midfielder. Nah, ah, 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 ah. Oh, wait, you can't even train them to change position, can you? That is crazy. All right, we're going to inquire. I remember losing my mind when I saw that we signed him. 17 million. Perfect. Let's go 15. I just could not believe that Aubameyang, a player that I had been watching for years, especially at Dortmund, and we were getting him at Arsenal. Honestly, I, I just could not believe it. So Giroud is gone. Transfer offer for DRB. Um, nah. <laughs> I love him too much. Who remembers the Anfield performance in the purple and black stripy shirt? Oh my God, Diaby was back that day and it felt like for just that day. <laughs> right, let's get him in. 80 grand. Let's try 75. Little bonus on his um, per goal. What do you call that? Uh, clause? A bonus per goal clause? Let's go 10%. Let's go four years. Crucial first team player. And if Man City think I would sell Ozil to them, they are smoking something. And there's the old badge as well. The old City badge looks horrific now, doesn't it? I actually think a lot of modern badges look quite nice. Oh, my God. Right. Um. <laughs> he doesn't want to move. Three-year deal, 120 grand. I completely forgot that was a thing. It doesn't seem to happen very often at all in the latest games. You know, them saying, oh, I don't want to move. Let's sim this game. Oh, my God, the old sim. Look at this. I mean, it, it, it's awful, really, isn't it? There's nothing I can do but skip, which I'm going to do now. 4-1. But I like how you can see everything without scrolling. Why do we need to scroll in the latest sim stuff? It's not really a big deal, but, you know. Um, email inbox. Hey, there we go. Accept. So it's not an increase in overall. Giroud was 79. But it's definitely an increase in pace. Not only at centre-back with John Stones, but at striker now as well. And Welbeck's got pace, but Aubameyang is 96 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. This team is going to win the league now. You watch. So before we get into our first game and then sim the season, I guess we might as well do that. Let's have a look at objectives here. Oh, I remember this. All right. I mean, it's very simple for us. Reach the final of the domestic cup. So the FA Cup. And then, of course, top four. That was our trophy back then, wasn't it? The top four trophy. We've tried request funds. That hasn't worked. Uh, you've got contracts, youth staff, youth, youth academy. Do you know what the funny thing is as well? I went to try and have a look at the player faces and stuff. And um, 
you can't edit player unless you're connected. So I can't edit their boots and stuff. I've only just realized we sold Walcott and he was in the team. <laughs> Wait, no, we haven't. He's there. Who, who did I have on the right then? I think I just forgot to actually change it. There we go. That was really weird. For a second, I actually thought, I, no, I sold Giroud. That's what I did. Oh, we've got to have Mikel on the bench. Sorry, Flamini, who is now, by the way, an owner of a business worth billions. So technically, Flam Flamini is a billionaire. That's mental, isn't it? We have a community shield game against Man City. That's got to be the game we play. So let's sim via the calendar here. It looks awful. It looks so old and dated, doesn't it? We drew two all against Atalanta. We got a 3-0 win at Wolfsburg and a 4-1 win against Villarreal. So I think we won the preseason tournament or not. I don't know. We've had an offer come in for Flamini. Reject. Right, let's play against Man City. This is going to be very strange for me because, of course, the game is so different now. And whilst it felt good at the time, I bet you it doesn't feel good now. And by the way, I've had to use an old Xbox controller to play this because it doesn't it doesn't recognize the PlayStation 5 controller. Of course it doesn't. Wembley Stadium, five minute halves, legendary, clear. There's the team. I don't need to make any changes. I noticed in the um, the kit selector there, it was Samir Nasri in the Man City shirt. Oh my God, I remember this. Oh my God, it feels so old now. This was it. This this was the game to play. Finish it, Obama Yang. Giving him the number 14 shirt, of course. And I couldn't score that. Okay. So straight away, the current game doesn't have this. Something so simple. Just the pre-game cinematics being more than just outside the stadium and then bang, you're in the game. Being able to see the lineups, being able to see the stadium a little bit more. I don't understand why they've taken that out and it's something I've been asking them since the game came out why because guess what the old generation so the Xbox 360 no is it the Xbox one the PlayStation 4 they still have all of this in the latest FC 24 game but for next gen consoles it's not there literally makes no sense but look at the graphics, guys. We've come a long way in just 10 years. But let's see gameplay-wise. Is this actually going to be more fun? Because I've got to say, I think the last few editions of FIFA and FC, the gameplay's just been getting worse and worse and worse. This does feel quite smooth. But it's so janky, isn't it? Like, if you're dribbling with a player... It doesn't feel so 360. It just feels like you're going in a direction and that's it. You can't really... Oh, oh, still got it. Oh, this is so easy, though. This is legendary, by the way. I say that as um, I thought I was going to get through, but didn't. Oh, Santi Cazorla. Oh, Santi Cazorla. I miss that man. And Alexis Sanchez. Oh, man. Meza Ozil. Those three... There is actually a picture of those three walking onto the Wembley pitch together. Iconic picture. I honestly believe out of all of the recent players we've had at our club in like, you know, the last 15, 20 years, those three might still get into today's team. Alexis Sanchez on that left side. I think so. Meza Ozil, if he actually tries, would probably get in. And of course, Kazola. You, you, that left centre mid position, give it to him. Wait, hang on. Oh my god, it's a red card. <laughs> Man City are down to 10 men. Wilfred Bonney's been sent off for what was, I think, just a... He got the ball! <laughs> oh my god! Okay then. Should we have a look at some player faces, by the way? See, some of them are pretty good. That is a very good Chesney. Debushi. It's pretty good, but I want to see Kazola because it definitely didn't look great from a distance at least. Nah, that's pretty good. Obviously, John Stones doesn't have a face, as you can see there. Uh, younger Aaron Ramsey. Aaron Ram... Oh, I was going to say Ramsdale. Ramsey. My, my mind was caught between both names. I hated these Puma kits. I really did. I'm so glad we're back with um, 
Adidas. Alexis Sanchez loses it, but gets it back. Going to go down this left side. Aubameyang's in the box. Dink it in. Okay, that's going to be another corner. Even against 10 men, I bet you I'm still going to struggle, aren't I? It's so alien. I'd recommend, though, guys, if you've got any old FIFA games... Oh, hey! Meza Ozil scores with a header. <laughs> if you've got any of the old games, just give them a go because it's going to make you feel better about the current game. I think a lot of people take it for granted. What we have is a very polished-looking game. It might have bugs and issues, but in general... It's a very smooth experience playing the latest games. And um, I'm telling you right now, whilst I've got great memories of this game, I'm very glad I'm not having to play this every day to make my videos because it's just janky. Honestly, it's very janky and I'm not so sure I'd have much fun. Let's test Aubameyang's pace. Look at him go. Whoa, that should have been another red. Whoa, a shot from Man City. Incredible. They're actually doing all right here. Having some possession. Oh, that was actually pretty close. Yaya Torre, man, what a beast. I miss him as well. What a player to watch every week. There isn't really another Yaya Torre, is there? There's a lot of players that have, I guess, been seen as the next Yaya Toure, but no one's been able to achieve or play the way he does. He was so powerful, wasn't he? It was quite scary watching him run at your team's defence. Oh, almost got in there. Here's Theo Walcott. Sorry to have stole your number 14, mate. I had to give it to Aubameyang. Debushi with the cross. Ooh, okay. Vincent Company as well. Obviously, he's managing Burnley now, but what a playing career he had as well, especially at City. It was very good. Koscielny, almost another headed goal. But I think that's probably going to be half time. I've got to bring on the boss, haven't I? Mikel Arteta is coming on. And shall I give Wilshire a go? Yeah, why not? I don't know how I'm going to do it, though, because I. Mm. Let's take off Walcott, put Ozil on the right wing, and then Kazola through the middle. That'll do, right? And just. just Dribble inside with Meza. I really didn't like it when we played him on the wing. I remember Arsene Wenger doing it quite a lot. Meza Ozil could do the job, but no, no, no. His absolute best play was centrally. He was a genius behind the striker. It's just such a shame we gave him Giroud in his prime. If we had someone else up front, oh my God. We could have had something very special there. Oof, close. Mikel Arteta, who would have thought he'd go on to be Arsenal manager? Because I've got to be honest, when he was at the club, I didn't think he was actually that good. He had some good moments, some big goals, and of course, of course he was captain for a little while. But he didn't elevate the club to a new level. He, ca he came in and steadied the ship a little bit, and I heard uh, around the time that a lot of players were saying he's absolutely captain material and probably going to be a future manager. And here he is, arguably... Go on. Oh, almost scored. He's arguably, right now, one of the best young coaches in the world. And I'm sure so many clubs will be interested to see where he's going to go after Arsenal. And I hate the thought of it. But I feel like he could end up going pretty much anywhere. I think he is. he's going to be that good. Remember, this is his first job. And he's taking an Arsenal team that wasn't competitive, that was absolutely fizzling out, to a top three Premier League side consistently now and getting it almost to a semi-final of a Champions League as well. He's taken this club so far. As you can see there, the possession is pretty even. I'm surprised. City doing very well despite being a man down. But honestly, the CPU are just passing it around and they're not really doing much with it. I'm wondering if they're actually going to get a shot away here. Yeah, they will. And they should have scored. It was Nasri as well. I would have had to run and puke if he scored. We've got 10 minutes to go. I'm so sorry I haven't been able to get another goal. It's just... Oh my... What is that? It is actually a, a big difference. I wasn't expecting to find it so jarring. I thought I'd have a much smoother experience here. Like I said, I'm definitely glad that I'll be going on FC24 for the new QPR season and not on this game. Good ball. Obama, yeah. 
What? Why, why, why did he go to floor there? Why didn't he just bang that in with his left foot? I have no idea. Come on, let's get this second goal. Wilshere up to Alexis Sanchez. Back inside if I can. Nope, I've lost it. And we don't have many players sprinting back here. Come on, where are you all? Koscielny coming in. He was a good player, Koscielny. Very consistent, underrated player within, I think, the other, other fans. No one really seemed to care that we had Koscielny, but he was brilliant. One of our best defenders we've had in the Emirates era. And now we're blessed with Gabriel and Saliba. Definitely wouldn't change it. Oh my god, I literally can't get... Oh, thank you very much. Have we got time for one last attack? Go on, Aubameyang. Go on, Aubameyang. Oh, we're in! To win the Community Shield. No way. Well, we, we have won it anyway, I think. <laughs> I can't believe I missed that. But that is going to be part one of the, the trip down memory lane, guys. In part two, we're going to finish the season. We're going to go through some menu stuff, the training, and just take a look a little look at career mode in general but um it's just it's fascinating and it does it makes me appreciate what we've got now a little bit more yeah okay the new games have been a bit buggy and it's all very ultimate team focused and career mode hasn't had enough love but playing this it has made me realize that actually they have done some good things with the game and it's in an okay spot right now. Of course, we all want more. We all want improvements in the new game. But um, that kind of ruined the game there, didn't it? It was good to go back. And we'll be back, we'll be back uh, Sunday, on Sunday for part two. And we will go through some other stuff.